This is a quick little video showing how we can uh, use the graphing calculator to find when two accounts are going to have the same balance. Um, so in this one we're going to have $1,000 invested at 5% compounded quarterly and 700 invested at 6% conti compounded continuously. So we want to know when they have the same balance which means we need to make a formula for each account. So let's start with the first account, the one that starts at $1,000, that's the principal times 1 plus, now the rate, don't forget to convert it to a decimal, so 0 0.05 over the number of compounding periods, which are there's four of because it's quarterly, raised to the nt, so whenever you're compounded more than once per year, remember to put the number of compounding periods both underneath the rate and up with the exponent. For compounding continuously, we use a little bit different formula, sometimes called the PERT formula, a little bit actually simplified because we don't have to worry about number of compounding periods. So we have $700 times E, that's always going to be part of the formula, raised to the 0.06T. So once we have our two balances, basically the equation we're trying to solve is that when 1000 times 1 plus 0 0.05 over 4, or you could simplify that down to 1.025, to the 4t equals 700 e to the point 06t. So that's the equation we want to solve. I have another video that shows how to do this algebraically, but right now I just want to concentrate on the graphing calculator. So I'm going to bring up my graphing calculator here so that we can see how to do this. Let me get that out of there. And if you look in my y equals, what I've done is I've entered each equation. Let me bring that up so you can kind of see how I've entered them. Sorry, a little crooked there. So I've got each equation in there, and what I'm going to need to do is graph them. So I want to make pick a window that makes sense. Well, clearly I'm going to have to be a lot taller than a thousand, so I'm going to move my y max up to two thousand. My x max, I don't know, maybe I think it takes thirty years for the uh, account that started with less to catch up. The negatives we don't need, we could go at zero, but they're not going to hurt. So I'm going to graph, and notice what I see. I see both of them looking like they're growing about the same rate. What that tells me is I see it cut off here, so I definitely need to go taller. So they definitely meet at more than 2,000, so I'm going to try 3,000 for my Y max, and see how that changes my two graphs. So here's my first graph and with, it goes in the order you put them in at, so that's the one that started at 1000 and then comes the one that starts at 700. We should at some point see it starting to catch up, but it's taking a little while. We can see that because it's cut off here at the top, I can still go higher. So let's go a lot higher. I'm going to go up to 6000 and sometimes there is a little bit of guess and check with your window, so don't feel bad if you don't get it the first time. So again, here's the balance at 1000. This is the one that started higher here comes my one compounded continuously that should look like it's starting to catch up. Alright, now they're cut off on the right, but I do see that lower one starting to catch up to the upper one, which means I need more than 30 years, so let's go up to 40. Alright, so again, a little bit of guess and check. They were looking like they were pretty close to intersecting, which is what I want to see. I want to see that the one at the continuous rate has caught up to the one at the quarterly rate. Now I see there they're getting narrow and it looks like I have an intersection up here. So now I'm ready to calculate. So I'm going to do second, calculate, intersect is number five. If you only have two curves and one intersection point, all you have to do is hit enter three times. It's taking a second because I wasn't very close to the intersection point. The closer you are to the intersection point, the quicker it's going to uh, calculate it. So I give my calculator a little bit of work to do but I got my answer. I know it's not the greatest picture, but I got that T is about 34.595 years. So that's how long it's going to take at 6% continuously to catch up with 5% quarterly.